Hi, I'm Noza, and today we're at Pride Portland. We are here with the beautiful Cherry. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? I'm fine. Great. <laughs> how is Pride today? Oh, girl, Pride. Okay, so Pride is uh, Pride's awesome, but uh, <laughs> this is definitely like my fourth gig this week, and I didn't. I, I got like an hour of sleep. So you're so, exhausted. You're I'm, tired. I'm with it though. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to party because Pride's the best. So let's go. So I want to get a little serious right now. Okay. So with all the events that have happened in the past week, yep. it's been an emotional, I would say, kind of. Um, community right now I would think it's very very emotional Most so how do you think that pride today can help kind of lift us out of that well I think that um, it's it's good because it, it's reminding people that you know even after this this horrible tragedy like it's reminding people that we need like this is what we need the most we need to stand strong and we need to be together and we need to uh, make sure that we are not letting people like not letting situations like that stop us in our tracks and make sure that uh, we remember like remember why we're celebrating pride like the Stonewall riots and uh, you know all the people who came before us to make sure that we have our rights like the way that we do today and we're still fighting but still like the uh, um, just making sure that we're uh Lifted spirits. Yeah, like lifted spirits is definitely like that's this is this is gonna bring us out of that slump that everybody had a really hard week and I think it's time that we all let it go and just enjoy our our, our celebration. Bring optimism is what you're saying. Correct. Bring it up. Bring up the up up with optimism. So what are you doing today? Uh, I'll be judging these lovely floats that are going to be coming by. I uh, <laughs> I got my judging face on. I'm ready. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna read these floats up and down. And uh, may the may the best float win. We're here with Shauna Ray today at Pride Portland. Shauna, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. So how are you feeling today? Amazing, amazing. We did a show last night at Sticks. It was called Pride Unfiltered. So this is. The result of last night as well. So you must have not gotten that much sleep. No, because I live in the Lewiston Auburn area. So Did you drive all the way up yeah, there? we drove up last night to do the show, drove home, and then turned around and came back for this. Wow, busy girl. Yes. So, what are you looking for today, in what? terms of the judging floats? I want to see originality and fun. Fun, fun, fun. I want it to be. It's what we're all about. Are you excited to judge? Yeah, my first time. <laughs> what are you looking for? Ah. I'd all the colors, man. <laughs> so you want to see a lot of color? Yeah. Welcome to Portland Pride! That's Pride right. Portland. Have a great year of Portland Pride. Big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> there we go. Want to introduce our judges this year. Starting over here, it is Cherry Lemonade. <laughs> Got some famous Cherry. She's a great Portland native, ecstatic to celebrate another year of LG. D L there's so many letters. <laughs> LGBT. Oh, oh, letters. I know I'm one of them. <laughs> In Southern Maine with Pride Portland, having had the honor to perform drag antics all over the country, Cherry's home. I happy to be home with the LGBT community in which she grew up. Give it up, up Cherry. For Cherry Lemonade. <laughs> all right. So next we have Jack Hardness. <laughs> Jack is a handsome, dapper, new drag kind from Portland, Maine, who loves to travel both space and time. And hey, give it up for the good humor man, by the way. Yay! If you don't want your kids having ice cream, tell them when they play the music, they're out. SpongeBob Pop. So we're back to Jack. Yeah, I don't want to steal from Jack. You know, he's one of our great judges today, judging all of the uh, floats and all the marchers today. Some of Jack's hobbies are dancing, lip syncing, and flirting while being fancy. <laughs> Me okay, too, Jack. Same. Okay, same. Then we have Shauna Ray. Shauna Ray has been playing the art of female illusion for more than two decades and has seen, done, and learned many things on her journey throughout the years. Her alter ego is a stylist in Lewiston. Shauna Ray has won a few titles over the years, including Miss Amber Scoggin, Miss Central Maine, Miss Southern Maine Pride, <laughs> Miss AIDS Awareness. Increasing AIDS awareness is her passion, and she works at the Franny Peabody Center. Here is for Shana Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, starting the parade for 25 
sexual orientation. So a big round of applause for these folks. We have the first parish congressional church. They're open and affirming congregation, United Church of Christ, inviting into their common life all persons, regardless of race, culture, or sexual orientation. I'm pretty sure that's how God wanted it. Pretty sure. Thank you guys. Proud supporters are all waving their pride flags and banners. <laughs> we have the first Congressional Church of South Portland. <laughs> hey, we have these proud folks walking with us today, enjoying the sunshine. Thanks for coming out today. They're not done. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Just get, get a little more, get a little more open that throw. Right, yeah. Wind up on the throw. Well, heck, I didn't know that's how you did it. Hula hoop, I can do that. I know, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't do that. All right, stop. No, yeah. All right, now, no, okay. no, can't now, do that. now, can't do that. No, can't do that. No, can't do that. Certainly can't do that. My hips don't move like that anymore. Right, yeah. Hey, loud and proud! New England, they're an LGBT and ally marching band. It was the first ever band to march in Portland Pride in 2014. If you want information on these guys, just go to loudandproudany.com. What are you going to loud and proud of? I like it. They should hang out back here on the stage with us, huh? All right, give it up for the main Democratic Empire! Yes! 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 
is our constitution, especially its guarantee of free speech, free exercise of religion, and separation of church and state, and freedom for all without discrimination. Portland Public Library! Everyone included. Everyone. That's right. And they have all of the old videos from Video Fort now. I know. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> all right. Hey, it's the Freddy Peabody Center. All right. With bubbles included. The Freddy Peabody Center is man's largest HIV AIDS services organization providing direct support for people living with HIV AIDS. <laughs> as well as HIV and Hepatitis C testing and prevention services. I got this one, Craig. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next, it's Case 931. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a selfie time. A Lori and Blake selfie. Oh, wait, wait, Lori. Yeah. Now, even though I don't want you to ever listen to them again. That's right, yes. <laughs> I still love those guys. Thanks for being a sponsor of Pride Portland. They're okay. They're okay. They're okay. By the way, Blake and Eagle, of course, will be down in the park a little later. That's right, they're emceeing the house down at the park. Eagle is proud to be presenting sponsor of Pride. Thanks, USA. Wow, USA, they grabbed all the other cars. I know, look at that. Huh? Hey, and we have beads. We have beads. Oh. <laughs> Is this like the Williams? I guess cell phones have to be refrigerated. That's a, that a big old truck for some cell phones. Right. <laughs> well, it's kind of hot out here in the sun, you know. It's Maine Roller Derby! Yeah. Proud member of the League of the Women's Flat Truck Derby Association and one of the hundreds of leagues across the nation that have embraced the quick growing sport of roller derby. Well, they have tryouts starting June 26th and our next game is September 17th. <laughs> Which is, by the way, five days after my birthday. Oh. In case you want to shop. There you go. What day? Wait, that's a Friday, right? It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. I'm not coming to your game. Oh. I get it free. Oh. If it's for me, it's for me. <laughs> All right, hey, we have some nice folks joining us today from the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland. <laughs> They provide temporary care and shelter for stray, abandoned, confiscated, and relinquished animals. And they really uh, take in almost 4,000 stray animals every single year. They're committed to giving the best possible care. And of course, hey, you can maybe adopt one of these animals in the car right now. Life-size kitty. What do you think, Lori? There's not enough kitty litter in the world. <laughs> We have Spurwave joining us today. <laughs> Give them up for a big round of applause. You know, these folks have been in the parade uh, each and every year supporting all the efforts of Portland Pride. They provide behavioral health and education services for about 7,500 children, adults, and families throughout Maine. Their programs include outpatient and community services, education, and residential treatment, for people with autism, developmental disabilities, and mental health challenges. <laughs> Thank 
Yeah. We have the City of Portland Public Health. I know you guys over on India Street. <laughs> our, our cue cards have kind of gotten shuffled a little bit, so it's kind of like, you know, 52 pickup. We're not... But we know this is goodwill. Oh, yes. Industries of northern New England. They are more than just stores. Goodwill operates 25 group homes to brain injury recovery centers in Maine. Goodwill has 100 job openings listed online right now at goodwillmne.org. Portland Pride. 
We have the Unitarian, Unitarian Church from Waterville joining as well. Just down the street. <laughs> Support civil rights for the gay, lesbian, transsexual, and transgender community. Students, teachers, 
and members of the Portland Board of Education, the interim superintendent, Gene Clapper, and the new superintendent, Xavier Volcana. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get in trouble for putting your hands out the window. All right, up on the party I'm pretty, lines, I'm pretty sure. Members of the Portland Public School Department. <laughs> Thank you guys for being in the parade. Partners, and business partners 
partners are treated with dignity and respect. Oh my God, they stole a shopping cart. How'd you get the wheels to move? Wow. <laughs> we got some special tea? What's going on? Oh my God, they stole 30 shopping carts. I'm telling. Oh, it's Portland Outlay. Portland Outlay is a youth driven organization offering support and services to the LGBTQ plus community. Portland Outlay is a youth driven organization offering support and services to the LGBTQ plus community. Very high 
for joining us today. Big round of applause. That's awesome. University of Maine and Matthias. All right, Lori, we have the International Socialist Organization. We're committed to building an organization that participates in the struggles for justice and liberation today and ultimately for a future socialist society. We have the DLM Deaf Services. Maine's deaf community comes together with the LGBTQ community with pride. They acknowledge each other's pride in their identities and intersexuality. They too fight for equality and acceptance and employment, education, and all that life has to offer. We stand with you in our shared strengths. Thank you for providing communication access for deaf people at pride events. Hey, we have DJ Mary Mack. Hey, guess what? He's at the Pride Portland dance party tonight at yeah. Asylum. gender, age, and you know, uh, they help a lot of people out. So big round of applause. Thanks for joining us today. It's the Portland Vet Center, providing readjustment counseling for combat veterans, returning or having returned from conflicts. We also provide counseling for military sexual trauma survivors, couples counseling, and bereavement services for family members of servicemen who are passed in the line of duty. And we have the Freedom From Religion Foundation joining us today. They are proud walkers, showing off their banner. They are the National Freedom From Religion Foundation organization. They support the separation of religion and government by opposing, evangelizing young vulnerable children in public elementary school, prayer in public schools, and government payment to fund for religious purposes. Evergreen Home Performance, proud to provide energy efficiency audits, bubbles, an installation to help the LGBTQIA homeowners achieve year-round comfort. More bubbles! <laughs> hey, we have a pony. change that supports the education about LGBTQ plus right and experiences. All right, coming up next is the University of New England. <laughs> University of New England is Maine's largest private university and innovative educational community with two distinctive cultural main campuses. Nice start. And they have the convertible today, set up the sun. You know, they also have uh, new campuses in Tangier, Morocco, and a robust offering of degrees and certificate programs online. Awesome! Hi, Jenny! Well, hey, we should come up to Morocco a little bit, but I think that's the classes in Morocco, right? It's Coffee by Design! It's Coffee by Design! 2016 corporate sponsor! Coffee by Design Pounds for support of equal rights for here and Maine abroad since 1994. They are not throwing hot coffee. Oh, I thought they were going to throw me a nice coffee or something. Ice coffee? Now, we have some real music coming our way, Lauren. We're in the music scene. What do we got? Studio 55! Lori's off. 
We had all kinds of stuff going on. But, but we, had, we had girls and balls. And if, if mine looked like that, I'd wear that too. It's sunny out, right? Hey, we have two mobile with us today. T-Mobile is revolutionizing the wireless industry as the uncarrier. Thank you for looking at us. The HRC is the best place to work for LGBT equality. Next is State Street Church. Hello, State Street Church. Give us a big wave today as they're going by. Good welcome. Love the rainbow heart. And right behind that, we have Intermed. I'm a client. Is care without compromise. They're joining us today in Congress Fair Marching Crowd. We have the Wilson Emanuel United Church. They are truly an open and affirming faith community representing the American Baptist Church and the United Church of Christ. I love seeing church groups at gay pride parades. No, this is great. All the churches that join us. I like the umbrellas. That's a nice touch. Perfect. That's good. All right. Waving the flags. Wearing the hat. I like the hat there, too. That's good. Hey, where are they? Join us at the carnival. Look at that. Oh, uh, street hugging. Welcome to the street hugging. Street hugs, you know, there's some selfies going on there too. Don't worry. Right. Well, we with Girls in Emanuel Church. We've got a couple cars in the parade here today. Look at that. We have the Grace Street Ministry. We have the Street, uh, Grace Street Ministry was founded in 2006. It's an outreach street minister for pastors working with homeless and marginalized in downtown Portland. The VA Maine Healthcare, committed to a diverse workforce and inclusive workplace. They understand that diversity and inclusion are essential for a high performing organization that delivers the best service to our veterans. The lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community is an integral aspect of human diversity. VA Maine Healthcare System, they serve all who have served. Thank you. Big round of applause for these guys. Yuda!
It's in a little bit of sleeping. I appreciate that. <laughs> Don't be shy, grab some of that flag. Walk it down and there we go. A little grab is a good thing in this case. Yes, grab. I'm grabbing the nicest point. Right, yeah. You can walk under it too. I like that. I like that. We're here today with um, Mark Chadborn. Mark, tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do with Pride Forum. Uh, I am a current uh, one of two co-chairs of Pride Portland in 2016. I live here in Portland and uh, I wanted to be more involved in the community so I volunteered. Nice. So what does Pride Week mean to you? Pride Week in a nutshell is supposed to be a celebration of our diversity as a community. That's a good way of putting it. So what kind of um, activities did you have this past week that you can share with, with us to celebrate Pride Week? Pride Portland is very proud of having 10 days of Pride. Not just a parade and a uh, festival, but 10 days of Pride, which starts out with a flag raising, um, a launch party at Grace, a big dance party, uh, and then we had kayaking in Casco Bay, we had trivia night, we had history night at the uh, uh, Portland Public Library. So tons of things going on. So compared to last year, how would you say this year ranks? The events are similar. We changed some. Um, I think by the turnout today, we've definitely got a, a much larger turnout this year. And uh, of course, with the tragedy in Orlando. Do um, you think it influenced maybe the community more wanting to come in and share and the joy and also celebrate as well? I think it's definitely unified us and, and brought people out maybe more. Um, it's also added a little somberness to the event where you want to be respectful of what happened. But we also want to celebrate, you know, who we are and why we're here. So we I think we've we've met that tone, we've you know, acknowledged and and we've give, tried to give people whatever they need. Closing notes, what message would you give to Portland today? I want to just thank the community for coming out and supporting the diversity that we have here. And I hope they have one hell of a good time. Well, thank you so much, Mark, and enjoy the show. I can hear them in the background starting. So thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it.